luck, Tristan. I hope you find the cat before he crosses. Ah, I've been wondering when we've been... Hey, we're going to be able to bump into some wildebeest. Been a little while. And the ever-present Drongo, <laughs> my favourite bird. Keeping an eye out for any insects that those wildebeest might just kick up as they walk through the grass. So another type of relationship, you might have heard us talking about mutualistic relationships where both parties of the relationship benefit. But for the, this kind of uh, relationship, it's called commensalism. So only one benefits, but the other party don't benefit, but they don't have any Im negative impact either. Now, if you have a look at their faces, you should be able to see their mouths are quite wide compared to the Nyala you may have just seen on your screen. And that's because they are grazers, so the wide mouth allows them to take in quite a lot of grass. So they're a bit like a lawnmower. And you'll see that with the grazers, so white rhinos, they also grazers, so they have a wide mouth. But the black rhino is actually a browser, it eats the leaves and the branches so that actually has a hooked lip, and again, quite a pointed face like that of the other browsers, the Nyala, the giraffe, animals like that, because they need a, quite a narrow face to get in amongst all the branches. And there goes our wildebeest. Wild cow is the translation. <laughs> now I do pronounce it differently to what you would do in English. It's because I always got told off by uh, the Afrikaans rangers for saying, uh, how, oh, I've got to think of how you say it in English, wildebeest. <laughs> so it kind of stuck. Hi, Roger. Asking if wildebeest can swim. And I think uh, we might have chance to see some swimming wildebeest on the Mara. I'm hoping you, they'll be able to join us this week and you'll be able to actually see how they cross the rivers during the migration. So it has been really interesting to hear. We've actually had giraffes trot across the river, and I think that was the first time Steph had seen giraffes crossing. <laughs> 